Hey guys, uh, my name is Isaac Sheets. I'm a new uh, member here at Reverb. Uh, I'm joined today by Patrick. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go over something that has become a little infamous. It's my bucket. Um, <laughs> off to a bad start. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, let's get started. Probably the most obvious thing to talk about right now is these things poking up. Grip clamps. These things come in handy uh, so often. Basically, I mean, for gripping stuff. Talking about today, we were on a shoot where we needed to clip up a shower curtain. So we use these to put them on the shower curtain, this and that, and they can help for multiple other reasons. You can see here I've acquired some. I know, there's a lot of different ways uh, to acquire these. As these, I've literally... Um, we were packing up a set and I found them on the ground. So I just took them for myself. You have, stole them? Yeah, I, I, I literally, uh, these have initials on them that, um, <laughs> did you steal everything in this bucket? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should probably go over why I have this bucket. Uh, when I started going to school, my degree was in cinematography. So as you're kind of like going up the ranks or whatnot, you end up just working a bunch of sets as a grip or an electrician, gaffer, whatever. Um, and so there's kind of like a, some tools that you kind of always just want to have on hand and bring with you when you do jobs like that. It, sometimes it's, it's even expected. Um, so one day I just decided to buy a bucket and put all that stuff in there. Um, so that's basically why I have this bucket. Yeah, there was one thing I wanted to add where like, I don't know, if you're AC on a shoot, you might have like a cart. I feel like this is a better balance if you don't know like what you're getting into necessarily. Um, if you're like, I don't know, gripping for a commercial or something simpler where you don't need a car. You, need just, you don't need to show up with, I don't know, a big collection of stuff. I think this is like a good middle ground. Um, not just having like a pouch like this, but having like a little bit more mm. to, to be prepared for more things. A lot of stuff in this bucket is actually just stuff like small things that you would never think of, but are extremely valuable to have uh, when you're like in the thick of it on a shoot to just keep in there and kind of like put it in there and don't think about it again. But then when you're on a shoot and you're like, oh man, I need a, uh, I need to uh, grip clamp real quick, or not grip clamp, but a uh, er, uh, clip real quick. You know exactly like I have one on the edge of my bucket right here. Good things come in small packages. <laughs> it's a pretty big bucket, but. Um, <laughs> Get in that bucket. Let's, yeah, let's keep diving bucket. into this bucket. Um, kind of poking out the top here, it's just a water bottle. Um, Why is water important? Because, <laughs> man, it gets hot. <laughs> with that whistle. Uh, kind of going along with the water bottle, something that I, I, I like to bring is something to hold coffee or hot liquid. Or there's been times when I it, like hop on a shoot or whatever, and there's been coffee, but there might not be any cups. Or over as the day goes on, there's just the cups run out. Mm -hmm. So I've started to just bring a mug with me luckily this one is branded with refurb shout out we don't have merch not to mention having that instead of just like a coffee cup where you might not have a chance to drink the whole thing where like this will keep it insulated keep it warm i hate room temperature or cold coffee mm -hmm. where like yeah no one wants that so like if you need to do something and you go back to it it'll still be warm yeah yeah not not room temp what next no big so this is probably the most important part of the bucket. It's almost its own um, thing, <laughs> basically. Uh, so one thing you might notice if you've ever seen behind the scenes pictures and you see grips or electricians, just anybody, they'll have uh, a belt of some sort with pouches on it that have various different tools. Um, the one I have right here is just literally a tool belt that I just bought from Home Depot, basically. Um, but what we have over here uh, is like a branded cine bag, and these bags are literally made like four sets. And this is probably what you'd see most often. If you're like me, and I don't know, if you're going through school or anything, uh, this is what my cinematography teacher just told us to get. And it's honestly been, I mean, it spent way less money 
on it and it's been almost basically just as helpful as as a cine bag so i feel like you can fit more in there too where like this is like a wider a wider pocket where this is like a little more narrow mm -hmm. um a little more specific where i mean if you know <clears throat> if you know what you're getting yourself into you can just you know bring it all yeah absolutely absolutely yeah what's the most important thing Ooh, most used probably <sighs> gloves um and i would just say it really depends now with leds uh having heat resistant gloves isn't as important but if you're ever working on something with fresnels or incandescents gloves are a must because those lights after like 10 minutes are way too hot to touch and handle Something I think of for gloves is like if you're rounding up a stinger that's been on the ground and like the ground's dirty and you just get like dust on your hands. Yeah, that's the, that's, worst. That's the thing too. Right here, I have a, uh, what is this called again? Screwdriver. A, a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> a screwdriver. Very, extremely, extremely <laughs> important. You just never know when you're going to need a screwdriver. I can't think of any like, well, I mean, for one, you even just putting the stupid tripod plate on the camera, like, especially, you know, if you can catch, if you can catch an AC or a DP who's like struggling with that and you can yeah. pull up with your, with a flathead. You can have it ready before they ask for yeah, it. Yeah, even before they ask for it, you, you are uh, hired again. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, just kind of having tools is a, is a good idea. So right here, it, I just have like a multi-tool. This is a, a Gerber, but yeah, just a multi-tool that can pinch. It can, you know, you can crank on stuff and then it has just various other things on it, like a blade, a can opener. Yeah, you know, it's not 1934, so we don't really need those anymore, but. <laughs> when you go for this, are you usually going for the pliers? Uh, yeah, that or the, um, the blade or the blade of, of Cause I feel like what situation would you go for the blade instead of going for the, the actual, well, yeah, so that's cutter? a good point. And I think, so as, as, uh, this whole like belt has like continued kind of upgraded to just like a, uh, a reusable, um, razor blade knife, just because your knife is going to get dull and I have a couple extra razor blades in the bucket. And so, yeah, <laughs> I know it's pretty, it's pretty sketchy, but you know, when your knife gets dull, you don't have to like bring out the whetstone or whatever, you know, you can just, you can just like, you know, pop another razor blade on there and yeah. this and that, cut a box or cut some rope. Yeah. Having ro Okay. So maybe we can just move on to having rope. You, there might, you might be on a set where you need to rig lights into the ceiling. Um, and sometimes your grip package might not have, uh, safety cables. So another way to do that is with paracord, probably a little thicker than this, um, just to, when you put the light up and it, it's clamped or whatever, you can also tie it as well. So if it was to fall, it has a second precautionary. Also like another word for it, a sash, is something that you can really easily find on the ground of sets as well. So, so what else should you have in your bucket? A oh, a lighter. Yeah. So burn it. Lighters are useful um, for some more explicit things that I won't talk about, but you can also just come up to the, uh, the rope right there, Hell yeah. blow it off and it won't be frayed and you got a good piece of sash. Oh, yeah. So and if your DP smokes and you have that lighter yeah. ready for them before they ask for it. <laughs> yeah. Let's do speed round. Speed round. Let's just yeah. do like, yeah, quick yeah. ones of self-explanatory. So kind of going along with uh, clips again. Uh, clothespins, or if you want to be cool, C74s, or no, C47s. Uh, so this right here is a C47, uh, a clothespin. And then this right here mm. is a C74. Mm. Um, so as you can see, it's just turned around. Sometimes it's better if, you, if it's a, you're trying to clip something in a, a thinner environment. So if I wanted to put a gel on some barn doors, which one would I use? Are they both uh, good? They're both fine, honestly. I've used both. I almost prefer these because I kind of like how they're like a little bit more pinchy. For sure. But, um, so yeah, get, have plenty of those, especially uh, they're most used for just putting gels on uh, on bar doors. So that's most important. Um, markers, markers and pens. Pens is very important if you're going to be an AC. Being able to write on the slate and have an assortment of different uh, markers to do that. And then just for other reasons, if you want to write on tape, uh, markers are very important. You honestly, 
if you're gonna show up and you don't have any, you should probably stop by Walmart pretty quick. I have a, this is a crescent wrench right here. This is used a lot with lights and their yokes. They're either attached with a, uh, with a, a bolt of some sort. Um, like a junior pin or something that gets Yeah, loose. yeah, and so it's useful for if you ever need to switch those uh, pins. So having an adjustable wrench. Speed round, let's go quicker. Yeah, yeah, go <laughs> Give them 15 seconds on the clock for each thing. Oh my gosh, I'm going, wait, I can talk too much. Um, Allen wrench, uh, yeah, uh, an Allen wrench key. You never know when you're gonna need an Allen wrench, especially for cameras. Uh, cameras have a lot of Allen wrench stuff on them, so have an Allen wrench on you. Always have a flashlight. You never know when like, you're behind the scenes or behind the set or whatever. It's gonna be really dark, so having a flashlight to um, kind of be able to see in the dark is super important. Here is a, an outlet checker. Yeah, basically you plug it into an outlet um, and it will tell you if it's good or not. Uh, and if it's bad, why is it bad? If it, the ground's bad or it's just, you know, there's something wrong with it. So these are good if you're, especially if you're in an old house, this is kind of like a pen. I don't know the name for it, but what it does is it lets you know if there's an electrical, like flow going through a wire or just anywhere. So you wanna follow me real quick? <laughs> Let's see. Here's a, here's a, um, an outlet right here. So that where there's power most likely going through. So if I touch it to it, Whoa. it starts beeping. So I know if there's power and this helps if you're in a studio and there's a electrical board, if this and that, and you're like something's going wrong or you want to make sure you can safely unplug something. There's a lot of use cases for that. So going on tape measure, tape measures, obviously useful for a lot of stuff but i think in a grip case it's most useful for setting up dolly track because you can just extend it out how long you think the dolly track is going to go and kind of like eyeball where the track is going to be before the track goes down have you ever used that for focus oh yeah that too that's a good uh using it for focus uh if we we're shooting technicolor this would be a must um <laughs> just get yourself tape measure <laughs> um, and then also on here with AC stuff, spike tape. Um, so this is good for making tees. My is. favorite thing is taping memory cards or something. If you're like switching cards, mm -hmm. um, giving it to DIT to dump, knowing which ones have been dumped, which one haven't. And then obviously most important, grip tape. Having your own roll grip tape is good. Uh, and I have it kind of on this loop right here with carabiners on it so I can grip it to my belt. All right, <laughs> this is probably the most peculiar and you can have it if you want, but I have shower curtains in here. They're extremely cheap and pretty decent form of diffusion if you don't have like a, a four by four or like 250 or 216 diffusion with you. But um, I think that's it. This is a, turned out to be way longer than I thought. <laughs> Um, it's like a 30 minute video. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, dislike if you don't like this this bucket idea. In a couple of years, just like, yeah, think about the bucket. Hashtag bucket life. Uh, hashtag set life. Hashtag shower curtain <laughs> diff. <laughs> yeah, money. <laughs> Baby, that was money. Tell me that wasn't money. She smiled. <laughs>